Hello and welcome to Chairside Live. I'm your host, Megan Strong. Perfect time to tune in. Today's show is all about digital dentistry, an unstoppable trend that continues to revolutionize the industry. Dr. Chad Duplantis is on stage at the 2017 Glidewell Dental Symposium and he's focusing on the future. He's discussing how to incorporate same-day dentistry into your practice and reviewing the benefits of intraoral scanning and in-office milling, utilizing the Glidewell.io in-office solution. So here we go, let's check it out. Dr. Chad Duplantis practices, teaches, and lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He serves as a faculty member at the Dallas-based Center for Aesthetic Restorative Dentistry, and he manages a busy private practice where he implements practical and cutting edge digital tools and technologies daily. His presentation, Digital Dentistry, The New Office Paradigm, focuses on new restorative technologies and materials that can advance your practice. I'd like to welcome you all. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to, to step on the stage following uh, Mr. Glidewell. I don't think 47 years ago he ever envisioned an event like this, and I don't think he realized that a, a dental laboratory would turn into so much more in terms of technology, manufacturing, software, and development. So kudos to the Glidewell Corporation, and thank you all very much for having me here. So today we're going to talk about digital dentistry and the new office paradigm. Uh, a little bit about myself, I've been practicing digital dentistry for about 13 years now, I started in 2004 uh, with, a, with a proprietary unit that fabricated crowns in office, and I've progressed from there, and I've, I've noticed a lot of changes over the past 13 years, so we're going to talk about some of those and see where we're headed today. I don't know if anybody ever saw this. This was a late 80s, early 90s CEREC unit. This machine could do everything in one. You design it right there, you mill it right there, and it processes a restoration. This was way ahead of the times. It was a great machine. However, we found that there were fit issues, there were occlusion issues, there were anatomy issues. We really weren't getting a great restoration out of this, or as great as we thought. So then, in 2005, you fast forward 20 years or so, we start seeing things really change in the digital arena. And we started coming out with these things called scanners. Well, scanners were great, and they were great for a number of reasons, but they all didn't necessarily correlate with a mill and produce a restoration quickly. So in 2005-ish, and this timeline's not necessarily in order, we started seeing companies such as Align and 3Shape and 3M come out with their individual scanners. And then there was another company out of Richardson, Texas that decided they were going to come out with a scanner and a mill all in one and be the first real competition for CEREC. And that was D4D Technologies. CEREC decided to up their game. They came out with the CEREC Omnicam, which is an absolutely phenomenal machine. 3M decided to up their game. They came out with the True Definition Scanner. Strawman said, hey, I might as well get into the game too. And they, came, they paired up with Dental Wings, and they came out with the Strawman Dental Wing Scanner. And then this is the one we're going to talk the most about today. This is by Align Technologies. It's the Itero Element, and it's a pretty phenomenal scanner. This is another slide. This is the intake of Glidewell Laboratories of digital impressions that they've seen over the last four and a half years. This is growing at an exponential pace as far as what they're receiving in their laboratory. But the beauty of it is, is not every impression that comes in is intended for a monolithic restoration. We're also seeing that you can use these scans for crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, veneers, implant workflows, and in addition, you can use it for partials, dentures, clear aligners, orthodontic appliances, models, digital smile design, and advanced implant planning. So let's talk about the Glidewell system that you saw out there. It's called the Glidewell in-office.io system. The first component of it is to scan, the second component is to design, and the third component is to mill. We're going to break down these three components rather quickly here. The first is scanning. The scanner that they've incorporated with their in-office system is the Itero Element. As I mentioned before, it's a really nice scanner. Our office has, has had great luck with it so far. It's a laser scanner. And one of the innovative features with Itero that none of the other scanners on the market have as of yet is called time-lapse technology. This is where you scan a patient at an initial visit or at a visit along the way of, of 
their visits to your office. You start scanning them at subsequent visits. The technology superimposes those scans, which is great because you can look at abrasion, abfraction, recession, wear. It's a great tool to show your patients exactly what they're doing. Next, we're going to talk about the second component of the system, which is the software. You can design on the fastdesign.io in three easy steps, and it is truly that easy. It's the most innovative software platform that I've seen for in-office milling. The first step is a margin. Marking the edit design is the second step, and the third step is the mill preview. And it just goes bam, bam, bam. It's very easy to use, very user-friendly. As Mr. Glidewell mentioned earlier, it, they utilize artificial intel intelligence and a proprietary library of morpho morphology. So the proposals that you're receiving on your restorations look right the first time. These are the three steps. Um, minus the milling step, but basically you mark your margins in the first step, you determine your orientation as well in that step, it sends out a proposal, nine times out of 10, I'm barely adjusting the proposal. I always adjust my contacts because I like them at a certain strength, so I adjust those to 20, this is at 30, but that's the majority of the adjustments that I'll make on that proposal, and then it's sent to the mill. And that's what we'll talk about next. The fastmill.io, it's truly an innovative mill. I've worked with several of them in the office. This is a very nice system. It's very compact. It's great for single units. So if you're wanting to mill multiple units, hold on for a bit. But right now, it's single units, inlays and onlays. It utilizes one burr for milling, which decreases your cost. It's very competitively priced, and it mills a very accurate restoration. We've received great results in our office with this. One of the beautiful things about this that if you've never looked at mills, you won't understand, but if you've looked at mills, you'll understand this. It requires two things in your office, 120 volt electrical outlet and distilled water. If you have that, there are no other requirements for your office. In other mills, you've had to bring in air compressors or draw an air line to the mill. This one is very simple. It's also the size of a compact kitchen microwave. It sets on the counter very nicely. Let's look at what we have in our office to make these restorations out of. Glidewell has three materials that they're very proud of and they should be. They come out, they've come out with a fourth that they introduced to me last night, which I'm kind of excited about. But these are the three materials that we're using in our office as of right now. The third product is also a game changer, and it's a game changer for Glidewell because Bruxer Zirconia is the number one Zirconia brand in the world, and nobody's been able to mill it until Glidewell came out with it. This is a pre-centered Zirconia. The problem with being pre-centered is that it's strong. It's 800 megapascals. The only reason that that's a problem is it takes a little bit longer to mill. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes. The way I look at it is it's a ceramic restoration plus the firing time, and you're providing a great product for the patient. Using it for first and second molars, full coverage restorations that don't need to be bonded. Here's a clinical case that we did. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this patient needed a full coverage restoration on this tooth. We built it up, we prepped it. One of the keys to zirconia success is retentive elements in the tooth, which include axial wall height. We had good axial wall height, so I felt that I could do a non-bonded restoration. We chose Bruxer now for this. And I'm gonna tell you, this is the way that it comes out of the mill, and it takes about two to three minutes to polish it to look like this. And I, I think that looks pretty good for a, a, a milled restoration. You can stain it. You can glaze it if you want to. The majority of the cases that we're doing are monochromatic. And in this case right here, it worked great. A Bruxer crown on definitely a Bruxer patient. If your patient leaves your office because you provided a spectacular service and without even asking them, they go and write a review on you, it doesn't get much better than that, folks. And patients are leaving the office, and they're thinking that this is a phenomenal offering that we have. So thank you all very much for having me here today. I know it was a whirlwind of information. I'll be around all day. Feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you. Thank you for that, Dr. Duplantis. For more information on the Glidewell.io in-office solution, you can visit Glidewell.io. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Chairside Live. On behalf of everyone here at Glidewell Dental, thank you for watching, and I'll meet you right back here next time.